in the end. Because the worst, the worst part of any Diablo game or any game like this is the time where you're just running around. I would say it's the exact it's same time. with the Leo, the Borderlands franchise, since Borderlands is basically a first-person version of this game with fucking guns. I and uh, I mean that's a broad generalization, but it's it, that's we basically what it is. And the, the biggest, the worst downtime is when you're just Would running around. And luckily, they've been intelligent man. enough to be able to throw <laughs> flavor text and audio logs and stuff in there to kind of help stranger. that along. But boy, is that still death, the worst part of these games is when you have nothing to do. I am, but now mortal. Ah, fate is. Let's grab a quick drink of water here. Badass, level 44. I love it. I will give you the Black Soul Stone, but in exchange, I must be made whole once again. You were treacherous before. How do I know you won't be an even greater threat once you've been fully revived? You don't. So, you must ask yourself, how much would you risk to save this wretched world? Everything. Hmm. Ah, so be it. To begin, kind of a dumb piecemeal story, but it's good. Retrieve my blood from the dungeons where it's it has a, been it's hidden away. You not the most them in the desolate sands beyond the aquedas. intellectual or intelligent story, but it's satisfying. We should bring Cool's head with us. Maybe he'll have something useful to say. I'll put him in your bag. Let's see, level... You're gonna put a human head in my bag. Thanks, lady. That's, uh, that's not the creepiest thing that you've said you're gonna do to me today. Ooh, let's see if I can get one of these socketed. Yes! It's not nearly as good as what I have equipped, unfortunately. Try one or two more times here. Um, just to get off the legendary, that might be useful to equip. I don't know. I feel like we've been wearing that thing for too damn long. What uh, what types of rubies do we have here? Flawless ruby. That'll be useful. All right. So let's take a look at flawless ruby. A helm bonus experience. Flawless Ruby, 11% bonus experience. Jam that right in there. And equip it. That's actually kind of a badass face mask if you look at it. With the creepy eyes and the cool side pieces and everything. They really kind of push the... Uh, goth kid pleasing aesthetic of the uh I hate to say it like that and be that dick but they really pushed that aesthetic uh to the extreme there we go I didn't need to do that but fudge it why not I'll get all the stuff back here very shortly so it's not like it matters Although something very important is about to happen f in terms of uh, character customization up here soon. And I won't spoil it. I'm sure if you guys are watching this, you know plenty about Diablo 3. So uh, it's not going to be anything new to you. But in case there is somebody who's watching or who's checking it out who doesn't this cannot be know yet, yet, you know. For you. <laughs> You'll see. To the ancient waterway. Emperor Hakan? Nope, nobody gives a shit about that asshole. He's gonna tell us to do the thing we're about to do. Something was here before us. Likely demons. It's Belial. So long as he lives, all of Chaldean is under siege. Oh shit. Uh that's trouble. Wow, they threw a lot of us here at once. Or a lot of them here at once. At us here. Words. Words are hard, hard words. Yes. The more I study my uncle's Ooh. Uh that's a good equip. Books. Up to forty three hundred DPS. I took his wisdom for granted. He was a great man. 
I like that. Once I get something that's leaps and bounds better than what I have in my in my main hand here, I'll be able to. Oh wow, another satchel! I didn't even see that one. So there's two satchels like right here at the beginning of the uh, dungeon. That's cool. After the Dalgor Oasis was discovered three centuries ago. Though Chaldeum had been prosperous for many years, a reliable source of water allowed the city to grow even further. Yeah, buddy. Luxurious public fountains Burn them were down. to provide safe drinking water for everyone. I want more time to explore the great library of Chaldeum when this is all over. You are more like your uncle than you know. Oh man, I kind of got stuck there for a second. I dodged away after after the fight, but uh, I didn't expect the fight to end so quickly. So you know, shit happens. Let's bring him over here. Bam! Trap kills. I like that. Yo, I really like that. Blow him up. Blow up the snake eels. Yeah. That rapid fire is so goddamn satisfying. So's that. Get the hell out of that. Need to get out of their damage fields. Whoops. Oh wow, those fucking turrets just took care of business there. And I got a perfect ruby. Citadel Fortune. Rare Scoundrel Token. But that's not what I wanted to look at. 13% bonus experience. Prey Technique. I don't need that. Man, just being able to continually spawn those turrets everywhere is super satisfying. I can't do that. We'll get through this dungeon eventually. This isn't the worst dungeon. I like I like the, the big battle stuff where they throw, you know, like 40 enemies at you at once or more that you get later on in the game itself. Like, if you, you play the first act, and clearly the first act is designed to just kind of, you know, by the end of it, you're... you're killing lots of guys at once, but it's designed to really give you a grasp of how to play the game. And then this act ramps up the difficulty and makes you have to worry about a lot of different like damage fields and different enemies that can do different effects to you. Which is smart. And then you get to the third act where you're fighting tons of enemies and they really kind of take the gloves off of it and they're like okay, now, now you play the game. And then you get to the fourth fourth act and it's like okay now you need to use everything you've learned Drop that get out of there and start the rapid fire yeah I should have seen that coming the air in this place is utterly fab you couldn't have known ooh treasure goblin this would be worth the small detour I just took. That would not be wise. Oh, that one's gonna go down fast. Between the turrets and me. Like not a chance on that guy. That poor guy is dead now. His family will never know what happened to him. He didn't have any buddies around. They created a very, very cool new dungeon for the expansion that uh, revolves around those guys, the Treasure Goblins. And I'm not talking about Whimsydale, I'm talking about something completely different. Um, hopefully someday I'll be able to catch it on stream for you guys to check out here, but uh, it's really goddamn cool. That's one lever down. Yay, one lever. 2000. The light so. still guides us, even in the darkest of places. 
Yeah, you only got shit. Yeah, like they throw, they do throw a lot of enemies at you uh, in certain sections here in uh, this act. But when you get to the third act, it's like they're instead of them just being you know basic cannon fodder enemies, they they become more tough enemies. So you actually have tough varieties of enemies and tons of them, and you have to figure out you know which ones you want to take out first. You know, like which ones are most beneficial to take out first, I should say. And it's just really cool how they kind of stack the difficulty up so that by the end of the game you have to show some type of mastery of it. And by the end of the game I'm referring to the end of the fourth act, not the end of the game itself. Um, because let's face it, even though it's bundled with this game, um, Reaper of Souls is an expansion. And that's... You know, while it's awesome and while it added so much to this game and added so much replayability, that's all it is. It's just an expansion. So, while the story technically ends... There we go, let's pop that. While the story technically ends... Oh, wow, we got a lot of those. Oh, we almost got 50 kills there, that's badass. While the story technically ends at Act 4... Then you get into Act 5, and, and it basically adds... It changes the ending of Act... Oh, where do we need to go? We need to go down there. It changes the ending of Act 4. And it, it adds quite a bit to it. To the lore, anyways. Which is cool. Hey, we got a new person in the stream. Hey, thanks for joining us. Hope you like what you see. Hope you enjoy it. Um, it is a... Virgin run through of uh, hardcore mode. No, uh, no support from uh, other hardcore characters or anything like that. No, uh, no special items from other hardcore characters. Just, uh, just what we have, and that's it. So, eventually we'll die. Uh, it may be on this stream. It may not, but uh, this character will die on stream at some point. Whether it's before or after the game is beaten, that uh, that will remain to be seen, but uh, that's how it's going to go. So once again, thanks for joining us. Uh, hope you enjoy what you see and decide to stick around, because we do enjoy having people to hang out with here on Twitch. Sweet, that way's cleared out. Let's head back down here. And in terms of... Uh, Oh shit. In terms of hardcore, hardcore, if you're not familiar, means that as soon as your character dies, there's no respawning. Death is death, and then once that happens to this character, this character will never exist again, basically. Which is a cool addition to this game. I like the fact that it's in here, although it. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Not freezing. Whoops. Oh, that's, uh, that's, that was actually pretty bad. It's the type of thing I'm trying to avoid here, to avoid a death. <laughs> so in terms of the story now, we are trying to get an item that will allow us to destroy the lords, the last two lords of hell forever. Drop these, drop that. Um, and we have resurrected a guy's ghost uh, who apparently has a means to do what we're looking to do. He's not really a trustworthy guy, but we have no other choice but to trust him. Ah, uh, the other person went out. Bye-bye. Thanks for joining in. Yes. What's down this way? Oh, hey, the end. Didn't give us a golden arrow at any point. That's interesting. The golden arrows are the best because it's like, hey, go this way to that game. Passage should lead to the desolate sands. 
A secret door hidden behind the waterfall. 